Hello my friends, welcome back to another Rust video. If you are new to channel, make sure to check out my last tips and tricks video, link in the description below. Anyway, here are some useful tips for you. If you are a new player, you will definitely learn something. So make sure to stick out till the end of video and let me know in the comments if you learned anything at all. First of all, I got some safe zone tips that you will need to know. Starting with, you don't need to bother farming trees. Just farm stones and trade in the stone for wood. Very simple, very efficient. If you have some scraps to spare, you can buy tactical gloves at outposts and recycle them for a good amount of cloth. You will get 100 cloth per glove. In my opinion, it's a really good way for some fast cloth. If you are really struggling to find blue card, maybe it's looted all the time, maybe you get killed every time you try to get one, I don't know. But you can buy it for 100 scrap at outpost. And they won't even run out of a stock. And 100 scrap is basically nothing. At bandit camp, you can buy 16 times the scope and recycle it for 40 HQM. I don't recommend you do this one unless you learned every blueprint and have no other use for its scraps. Move up to the next, I have some general tips that all of you guys should know. Starting with a stack splitting. You can use the bar under each item for splitting them or hold down middle mouse button and drag for splitting them in half. But what if you need one third split for ores in furnace for example. This time just hold down shift button and split once. Then split the bigger stack in half for an exact one third split. That's it. You can fit up 3 furnaces on one triangle foundation. This is a really good one when you live in a small base and you can use every single bit of space. Did you know that you can use shovel to attack or farm signpost at safe zone? And they are really cheap to craft as well. Farm signpost for metal pipe and road signs. As you can see in the footage, you cannot hit the ground with a hammer. This is a very useful tip if you are looking to find someone's stash. Once the hammer hit the ground, it means there is a stash there. Use this trick so you don't have to search the area for like solid 30 minutes. And bingo, there is the stash I was talking about. Easy peasy. Use a mixing table to cook your gunpowder. This will save you a bunch of charcoal in the long run, since crafting gunpowder in a mixing table is 10 charcoal less than crafting it like normally. If you are in desert and are really in need of cloth, hit cactuses. This will work exactly like hemp's if you hit them with a metal hatchet. A small cactuses will give you 5 and large ones will give you 10 cloths max. Maybe your server is too populated or you find it really hard to farm road or monument for scraps. Just find yourself a boat or buy one at the fishing village and then try farming sea. In this footage, I'm on a modded server, so don't get me wrong, but you will still get some decent amount of compo out of it. Carrying a large medkit is usually a good idea since you can always revive yourself if you get downed, as long as you don't get down from a fall damage. You are safe from animals if you stand on a foundation. If you find yourself stuck on a high external wall, you won't get any damage if you don't move. Then heal up and start moving forward to get out. Never jump in between two external walls since you will take twice the damage and die twice as fast. Check for rivers on the map, you will find shit ton of food that you can fill up your HP, food and water there. Pumpkins are by far the best food source in the game so you can hold on to the seeds and place them near your base as well. Ok here we are at PvP tips, they are pretty game changing and will help you win more fights. You can use this command to see guns stuck, however it doesn't affect aiming or shooting in any way. Check out the description for the code. If your cover is limited, you can look down to cover yourself better. In this footage, you will notice a difference between looking up and down from the same angle. So make sure to use this more often in fights. Okay, this time with the same stance, I'm gonna look down to see if we can notice any difference. As you can see, in the last footage, my whole upper body was exposed. But now, 
you can barely see a thing. You can jump shot with a bow, but you gotta train this for a while if you wanna be really good at it. Here's how you can do a jump shot. You gotta aim and let go of the aim, and for a split second you can jump and shoot at the same time. But timing is really important here. One second late or too soon and it's a fail. Train it for a bit, and I know you can own anybody in a bow fight. Yeah, and you can do the same thing with compound bows as well. So, yeah, give it a try. If you have stepped on a landmine by any chance, don't move. You can do anything else, but if you have a body around, they can disarm a trap with a hammer and you will be safe. You can place wooden walls and stone walls that you can use as your cover in open fields. So it's a good idea to carry one or two while roaming around. Just make sure you are not close to building block, road or any monuments, since you can't place them there. With Rust's new update, standing and shooting is no longer an option. It will increase recoil a lot and lower the accuracy of the gun. So here's what you gotta do. You gotta sit completely still, since small movements also affect the recoil. Also using 8x the scope on auto rifles is not nearly good as before. So best mods that you can use are holo and laser sight. Wearing a tactical gloves will help you to get that max amount accuracy. Always gather mushrooms. They are great with early fights since you can spam them to get 3 HP from each while shooting back. Mixing bandana with the wolf head that you can get super early in game is as good as a coffee can helmet with 35% head protection. Rust Labs is a great site that will give you all the information you will ever need about items. In this case, I'm gonna use this site as my advantage and copy this number. And by the way, you can do this with any other item, but I like to do it with bandages. Then you're gonna come back in game and write this bind in console. And now, every time you press the bind key, you can auto craft that item. This simple trick will save you in tight spots when you are fighting and don't have much time to go to craft menu. Don't be afraid to use your good guns and gear. After all, it's just a game and you will never get good enough if you are always too scared to bring them out and learn how to use them. You can also join a combat tag or UKN server to sharpen your aim. Or, if you want some server to build things without worrying about material, check the server's IP in the description. And the last tip I have for you is by subscribing to my channel, you can learn so much more. I'm curious to see if you learned anything, so please let me know in the comments. Once again, thanks for watching and peace out.